Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this tutorial, I am going to show you a really easy way to create a cool looking fire text animation in After Effects. For this effect, you will need a free plugin from a video copilot called Saber. So go to the video copilot website and download and install the Saber. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, create a new composition. I am calling it Fire Text Animation. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second, and set the duration to 10 seconds. Now, go to the toolbar, and select the type tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and type your text. Choose the bold text. Then increase the font size. Also, make all caps. Then align your text to the center. Cool. Go to the layer menu, then new. And select the solid. Rename it to the saber, or whatever name you like. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect, Saber. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Go to the settings. Under the customize core. Change the core type to the text layer. Then choose the text layer. Go to the presets. Then select the fire preset. Change the glow intensity value to 40%. Glow spread value to 0.10. Glow bias value to 0.35. And change the core size value from 10.30 to 2. Under the distortion options. Then go under the glow distortion. Change the distortion amount value to 85. Let's check the final results. Cool. Looks perfect to me. There are so many tutorials on the same topic. But, this is the simple and easiest way to create a fire text effect. Anyway, let's create an offset animation. Make sure you are at the first frame. Go to the settings. Click the end offset to add a keyframe. Change the end offset value to 0%. Go to about 3 seconds forward on a timeline. Then change the end offset value back to 100%. Let's preview it. Amazing. Now, it looks more professional and realistic. Let's change the text. Double click the text layer. Then type anything. Then align it to the center. Our fire text animation is ready. I hope this was helpful, and that you've learned a lot from this short tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.